Voters in the city of Lansing will decide next month who will help rewrite and revise its current charter. Now, the charter has not been fully reviewed or rewritten since the 1970s. News 10's Tania Jordan spoke to city officials about what the Charter Commission hopes to accomplish. The question was left up to voters. Should there be a revision of the Lansing City Charter? I've heard people want to change, um, you know, whether we have a mayor or a strong mayor or uh, a weak mayor with a city manager form of government. Um, I've heard people talk about whether we should have more or fewer uh, city council members, whether we should have um, all council members by ward and have more wards or have all council members at large. In November, they voted yes. Lansing City Clerk Chris Swope says now people living in Lansing will have a chance to choose nine local peers that'll make up the Charter Commission. And this is obviously to look at uh, the city's uh, constitution, how the city's run. Steve Japinga at the Lansing Chamber of Commerce says it's endorsing nine out of 36 total candidates. Everybody that uh, we looked at and this kind of the slate that we've been endorsing all come from diverse backgrounds. Obviously, they all live in the city, but they all bring something a little different. Once elected, Clerk Swope says the commissioners will be paid $200 per meeting. Although it's a maximum of one per day, so if they have multiple meetings in the same day, they still only get one per diem. Swope says the city's current charter was adopted back in 1978. We've had numerous amendments along the way. He says it hasn't had a full review or rewrite since then. In Lansing, Tania Jordan, News 10. A special election to elect nine Lansing residents to review and rewrite the city's charter is scheduled for May 7th.